Hey everybody, I'm Jason with Thunderbird. Let's make email easier with another sort of quick Thunderbird tip. Actually, this time, let's make the entire internet a little bit easier. This video is going to be a little bit longer because we'll be showing you how to enjoy your favorite websites and your favorite video channels right inside of Thunderbird. And then we'll show you how to enjoy all of that content without the creepy ads and privacy invading trackers. We're going to accomplish this with an awesome technology called RSS or web feeds, something that Thunderbird has supported natively since 2004. But why would you want to use RSS? And why inside of Thunderbird? Here's a few reasons. You don't have to track down the news. The news comes to you. You can stay on top of updates from your favorite websites without having to remember to manually check in. And this is really useful for websites that don't update every day. You can organize your favorite content into categories, tags, folders, and subfolders, just like your email. And this is a big one. You can bypass all the algorithms, the ads, and the trackers. And if you're into podcasts, most of them use RSS feeds. YouTube and Peertube also use RSS, which means you could be watching this video right here inside of Thunderbird. Let me show you how to get this done. So here you can see in the folder pane that I've already added a bunch of my favorite content creators to Thunderbird with RSS feeds. So our very first step will be creating a feed account. And this is done the same way that you would add a calendar or a mail account to Thunderbird. Now, if you have a menu bar active, you can use this. Go to File, New, and then New Feed Account. Or you can use the App menu here, which could be a little bit faster depending on your scenario. And just click New, and then Feed Account. And I've already got one called Jason's News Hub, so I'm just gonna leave this at the, uh, the default name, Blogs and News Feeds. And then we'll click Next. Okay, so we have a brand new feed account called Blogs and News Feeds. Now we just need to find and add some RSS feeds. Let me show you how that's done. Firefox has an add-on called Get RSS Feed URL. Pretty self-explanatory. If you are not using Firefox and you're using maybe a Chrome-based browser, it's also available in the Chrome Web Store and these extensions uh, should work with Edge as well. So we are simply going to add this to Firefox or to your browser of choice. And now you're gonna see it right here on your toolbar and using it could not be simpler. So let's go to our YouTube channel. Now, every YouTube channel on the platform has an RSS feed, but YouTube makes it difficult to find. And that is why this extension is so great. Simply click it and you will see the RSS feed for our Thunderbird channel on YouTube. Copy the URL. Go back into Thunderbird and we're gonna manage feed subscriptions and then just paste in that URL that you copied. And we're gonna leave all the default options here. We wanna show uh, the entire web page versus an article summary. So we're just gonna click add. And just like that, we got Thunderbird videos inside your Thunderbird. Now there might be one more thing that you need to do depending on your operating system. Right now I just have the title and there's no content, but if I double click and open it in a new tab, we have the full YouTube experience. What you wanna do is go to your app menu, select view, and then feed message body. So the feed message body, think of that as the article or the video or whatever the content is that it's pulling from the web. Feed body as web page. And then Shameless plug here, the Thunderbird blog also publishes an RSS feed. In fact, a lot of websites do. It's just difficult to see them because they don't advertise them. So go to some of your favorite sites and just click that RSS icon and you'll see that we have the main Thunderbird blog feed here. So you can copy that URL. Highlight your blog and news feeds account, click manage, and then paste that URL in there. And there we go. 
Beautiful. Now, if you want to start playing around with RSS feeds inside of Thunderbird, but you're not exactly sure what to add, go to youneedfeeds.com and they have something called starter packs. You can get uh, RSS feed bundles and it's a great way to start your RSS journey. Okay, so I wanna get this comic pack, so let's get the pack. And when these files are offered as a download, what you can do is go back to your feed subscriptions inside of Thunderbird and click import. And then just browse to that file, select XML because it was in an XML format, click open, and boom. You now have a nice starter pack of web comics. But what if you prefer to enjoy all of this web content without all the creepy ads and the trackers? This is your solution. You might be familiar with a browser extension called uBlock Origin. Well, what's not quite as known is that there is a uBlock Origin extension for Thunderbird. It's not listed in the add-on store, but it is on GitHub and I have used it extensively and uh, I, I highly recommend it. So all you have to do is go to the URL that we'll have listed in the description of this video over at GitHub, download it, and then go into your add-ons and themes section. And to get there, on the spaces toolbar here on the left, click the gear, click add-ons and themes, and then click extensions. Just click the gear and click install add-on from file. And that's gonna be the file that you downloaded, which is right here. Click open and you'll get a verification window. Click add. And with uBlock Origin installed, that's going to strip out most of the ads that you'll see on the, the web pages that are rendered inside of Thunderbird, and it'll remove ads from videos as well. And since you already probably do so much inside of Thunderbird anyway, RSS becomes this really convenient and familiar way to enjoy the content that you're already enjoying on the web. And that's it, that is our kind of primer on using RSS feeds inside of Thunderbird. We really hope that you check it out and that you enjoy it. If you uh, have a good Thunderbird tip that we should turn into a video, let us know in the comments section. And thank you so much for watching. Until we chat again, happy Thunderbirding.